but it took a deciding game against Fukushima and Hirota. Mixed doubles coming up next for you from Germany. Jones, Ralphie Jansen and Linda Effler taking on Terry He and Jessica Tan from Singapore in a couple of moments' time. Well, Puavaranukro and Taylor Tenachai are the favourites to make it to round... Well, they've made it through to round two, but to the quarter-finals, the second seeds in this section of the mixed doubles draw. And to face the winners of this next match in round two, they came through earlier against their Thai teammates. Mixed double. Jonas Raffi Jensen, Linda Effler, Germany. Well, here is Jones, Ralphy Jansen, and Linda Effler, the tall figure of Linda Effler, coming out to court now. Versus International Terry Challenge Yonkai they took this year, or last year rather, 2022 Singapore. in Ukraine. Possibly their best result in the last 12 months. Empire their opponents today. Terry He, He Yonkai, and Jessica Tan, or Tan Wei Han from Singapore. They took the India Open title in 2022 and gold at the Commonwealth Games last year as well. First time these two have met. And it was Terry He and Jessica Tan who made it to the last 16 of the Malaysia Open last year. Who? You receive, who serve? You serve, they serve. And Terry He there deciding to receive serve after winning the toss. Let's take a look at our four players. First up, from Germany, Linda Effler, now 27 years of age. Born in Emsdeden, in Steinfurt, that is, in Germany. Five foot ten in height. Career high as a pair at 24 in the world. She has been up at number 10. But that was with Marvin Siedl, a German teammate. This is Jones Ralphie Jansen, born in Indonesia, as you can see there, in Jakarta, now lives in Saarbrücken. He's five foot nine and 30 years old. And their opponents today. Tan Weihan, or Jessica Tan, who is now 29 years of age, born in Singapore, five foot six, tall, and number 13 in the rankings. With her partner, He Yong Kai, known as Terry He, who is 27 years old. Born in Penang, Malaysia. Taken over to Singapore. Just five foot six in height. And last time out of the Malaysia Open, beaten by Matthias Christiansen and Alexander Boyer in the last 16. Well, there's our service judge, Lakpriya Adir E. Singh. Ready? Previously, the umpire you saw on screen there, Ramida Ashwa from Thailand. Who will be getting us underway in just a few moments as the players make final preparations. 
joined by Steen Pedersen once again. Steen, neither of these two pairs world beaters in the last 12 months. Do you think either of them can go all the way this week? And win the tournament? <laughs> no, I don't think they can. Uh, but I think yeah, they can uh, create some upsets. Uh, Italian uh, he, the Commonwealth Games champions and already won on the World Tour, but uh, this is um, a fully loaded uh, mixed doubles tournament, so that's going to be difficult. But and we've also seen Janssen and Effler play some um, some good matches in, in the recent year. So uh, I think this could be an exciting match because um, level-wise, they should be uh, reasonably close. Ladies and gentlemen, am I right? Linda Eichler and John Raleigh Jensen, German. And on my left, Tang Tang and Yong Kai Terry, Singapore. Linda Eifler to serve to Hei Yong Kai Terry. Labor. Play. So Eifler with the opening serve, the Germans in the black strip at the bottom of your screens there nearest us. One love. And yes, a big challenge for both pairs this week, as Steen said with so much strength in depth throughout the tournament. Flick serve from Effler. Yeah, good flick it. Three, love. Too steep. Jansen there. <laughs> I think he broke four strings in his racket. <laughs> Look at that. Surf's over. And you could hear the One. noise. Yeah. These guys these days with such high tension in the strings. Exactly. I was more worried about his toes. He needed those working uh, shoes with reinforced toes and so don't get injured. Jessica Four, Tan into the net. Two. Pretty good start for the Germans despite that one miss hit from Jensen earlier. Uh, they're on the faster end of the court scene. It's um, yeah. a bit cooler in here today, and uh, I think the aircon oh. is creating that drift in here. Steps over. Three, six. And yeah, that means that when you play the far side of the court, you were having a more difficult time playing the uh, back line with accuracy on the pair playing this near side of the court here, in this case, Efner and uh, Janssen. So. Oh. Put a lot of emphasis on the service situation, Five, get the initiative six. from the uh, beginning of the rallies, but of course, both pairs realize this, so it's not so easy. Good service return from Jensen there, push towards the corners. The positive thing is, like we saw here, that you get a lot extra help on your attack. 
Yeah, big smash from Terry here, straight through the middle, and that had some pace on it. Five, six. It was through Jansen's legs before he had time to react. from Jessica Tan luring Josh Jensen to hit from um, a bad position and immediately countering. Excellent play. Oh. Well, plenty of heat on the smash again, but six. into the net this time from Terry He. He's a strong boy. Oh, that's a great backhand from uh, Terry He there, but that rally really uh, an illustration Seven. of um, what we mentioned earlier. That the players wanted to lift and uh, give away the uh, initiative. <laughs> Turn of serve from Effler, Eight, catching the tape. Seven. Not much Jessica Tan could do. Yeah, she's got a big job here, Jessica Tan, to set up the attack for the powerful Terry He. Oh. Over. But eight. They're doing Oi. it effectively in the last five or six points. Oh. Has landed in. That's great control. And one of the things that's um, <clears throat> interesting here Nine, in the mixed doubles eight. is that um, uh, actually. It might not be that bad playing the far side of the court. We saw in the women's doubles earlier that this near side was uh, clearly the preferred uh, side oh. playing because you could lift and, and play defensive and, um, and, and uh, sort of uh, place the shuttle all over the uh, court on the far side of uh, the net. But here you don't want to play defense. In, in mixed doubles in general, you don't want to play defense because um, there's this male female um, um, sort of uh, uh, different skill set in the, in the defense. Yeah, giving away the attack to some of these speedy, powerful guys. You kind of put your partner in trouble a little bit. Yeah, and, and that means that, unlike most of the other disciplines, depends a little bit on the uh, shuttle speed, but unlike most of the other disciplines, in the mixed doubles you might actually want to play with the drift. Give you better options if you can win the service situation. And where does that dynamic One. steam uh, sit Seven. for men's doubles here? One. So in women's doubles, you can play on the slower side into the drift. We saw that earlier. Okay, on the mixed, potentially you want to use that speed and power attack. Good. Yeah. The men's doubles is a little bit uh, depending on playing style and the service situation. As always, becomes super important. Play. Over. Well, Jessica Tan Nine, 11. misses one from a comfortable position. Come on. Come on. Yeah, what a shot. shot. Given too Seven much time over. at the net. Terry he yeah, look 12, at the little deception nine. there's a little wiggle of the racket head and um, takes away a little bit of the power but um, a 
that's exactly what he wants as he's playing with the Swift. Silver. 10, 12. Oh, good combination. Sub Silver. From the pair from Singapore. Sutting. Ten. Terry He backing up his partner. It's oh. great awareness by him. Sub Silver. George Tenson. Eleven. Sutting. See there the speed of the smash from Jones Jansen. Doesn't seem to have enough spice on the shot, but playing into that drift, it make it difficult for him. So opting to use the slice instead. Out. Short serve from Effler. A cheap point for he and Tan. Oh, that's good defense. <laughs> Jessica Tan rotating out. Silver. Just misses by fine margins here. Farting. Oh. Uh, placement of the smash from uh, Terry He. was good if Effler had uh, returned with the backhand shot, but uh, oh. to get across. Seb Silver. But a very nice 15, comeback by uh, jump combination. Good serve this time from Terry He. 16, 14. Terry here with a lovely snap to that backhand drive. Oi. Well, he can't Did really he roll his ankle there, Terry He, and what happened? I think he gave that shot everything. I think that's what happened. Uh, yeah. he, he was almost rolling his ankle, I think, that he. Uh, yeah, you can see there that he uh, fell over, might have saved a nasty injury to that right ankle. Looks like he's okay. Eighteen, well, let's hope for his sake he's unaffected by that. Brilliant from Jessica Tan.
Good placement of those shots, Steen. Uh, channeled attack from Tan. Oh. That could have been a beauty of that uh, staying inside. 19. So from uh, Terahan. Yep, yeah, that was uh, well placed shots. Well, it's bad luck from Jansen. Serve silver. There was space over the top. 20, game point 15. And five deserved game points. Terry He and Jessica Tan. Oh, standing up in defense from Terry He. Ambitious. Great shot. That was a beauty from Jansen. Deceptive uh, drop shot. Serve silver. Well, what a backhand it was from Terry He to set up that attack, Steen. Yeah, a lot of technical skills. They have two Singaporeans. Very couple. And he and Tan take the opening game, using the conditions to their advantage. And some great attacking prowess. 21-16, the scoreline in the first. Second game, love boy, play. Well, the dulcet tones of our umpire, Huang Chin Wei from Taipei, getting us back underway here in game two. Serves over, one, love. Interesting here is that um, the German coach is uh, Xu Yen Wang. And uh, he's actually the um, singles coach. Germany is uh, one of the few Zach countries Silver. that has two one. main Oi. national centers. They have one single center in uh, Mülheim where the uh, German Open is played oh. normally uh, just before or just after All England. Two, and one. the other center is the double center. The, it's in uh, Saarbrücken. Saarbrücken, that's right. The uh, Hilo Open is um, staged oh. in the uh, fall. Three, 
one. So where is the coach from Saarbrücken then, Steen? Do we know? Uh, he's probably at home. That's a, that's a Dane, Jeppe Lubis, and he's been highly successful in, uh, Out. since he came to uh, Saarbrücken. Step silver. Two, There's three. four tournaments here in this uh, swing of the uh, World Tour. So go on next week to uh, Delhi, to India Open, Out. then back to Southeast Step Asia. Silver. and. Uh, Boy. Indonesia Two. Masters in Jakarta and then finally uh, Thailand Masters in Bangkok. Before there's a bit of break in uh, February with some uh, team tournaments. Yes, that's Step right. Over. And then a spell in Europe, of Three. course. Boy. Which makes it a lot easier for our European viewers to uh, catch some of this top-level badminton with the time zones a little bit more favourable through uh, March and April. Oh, that's a great play again. That little hold and flick. Yeah, it's a wonderful technique, that backhand. Serve silver. Five, three. I guess it's likely, Steen, with the drift conditions then. We'll see more of that with the Singapore pair going into those rear corners a bit more often they in can this do second that game. In this, in this game here, but I, I actually think they, especially uh, Terry, he controlled it uh, nicely in the first game. Six, three. Good attack from he and Tan. Terry He firing into the right place so that his partner can finish the rally. Oh. Steph Silver, four, six. Yeah, there's a few more kilometers per hour on. Jones Jansen smashes from this end of the court. Have to take advantage of that in game two. Sub silver. Seven, four. Service return from um, Jessica Tan. She can do that on this uh, near side of the court and uh, makes it difficult because uh, George Jansen has got to control it with uh, some kind of soft play. He can't just uh, put full power in the uh, flat shot back towards Nine, the uh, Singaporean four. side. It will simply go wrong. Yes, and I imagine it's quite difficult if the drift is in your favour to play soft because the shuttle will automatically go that little bit further into court. Linda, challenges. Yeah, you've got to reduce Cold. the pace a little bit. E. Challenge here from uh, Eflon Jensen. I think they really need it. Well, that was a good call. Challenger unsuccessful. One challenger remaining. In the end, from the line judge. Ten. One of four. the things that um, the Germans got to uh, work on Play. in the time coming is, is Effler's ability on the uh, front court. She's not a natural uh, front court mixed doubles oh. player. Wait, it's a great smash. Eleven four. Interval. Well, that smash from Terry He through Linda Effler's defense takes them to the mid game interval with a seven point lead and looking strong here. The pair from Singapore. 
Singaporean coach, Lim Picture, former Malaysian international. Eleven, four. There were talks. Play. Rumors that she was going to replace. Um, Self silver. Uh, Five, eleven. That's a mixed doubles coach in the uh, Malaysian national team, but. Uh, Spot has now been filled by Noah Vidyanto, the Indonesian, who signed a contract with uh, Malaysia. Step silver, 12-5. It seems to me much more common these days, Steam. These uh, coaches happy to travel the world and look after teams from so many different countries. Trying to see if you can get a little bit five. of a, an edge compared to your competitors. Oh. Well, great court coverage by the German pair. Sub silver, six, thirteen. They looked well organized in that rally. Well, there again, less danger of the shuttle fly out of the back from this side. And that means that they open up the court. Suddenly, uh, Jansen has to go all the way to the uh, back line and uh, there's certainly a lot of space in between him and uh, in the flip. Good defense. Yeah, but this is not working for the Germans. Uh, he simply can't penetrate or 15, set up Linda Eflo in his attack, uh, Jones Jensen. And uh, I would like to see them try something else. So a possibility would definitely be to let Linda Eflo. Move backwards and see if uh, that would make an Sub impact. Silver. See if um, Seven. Jansen 15. could then uh, intercept at the net, sort of let Linda Effler play some kind of half women's double against uh, Jessica Tan. Well, they'll need a change of tactics for sure. It's going long. Yeah. See? Being chased from side Set to side. Over. Jensen. 16, 7. Yeah. Not the best of crosses 17, from Jessica seven. Tan, but she got away with it. Effler in the rear court Sam after Silver. that flick serve. 8 17. And seemingly happy to stay there. Yeah. In the team tournament many years ago, Sam I saw um, an odd 18. mix double between um, oh, where, where Li Chung Wei played with Tina Bao, and they played the more or less opposite. That, um, 
Tina Ban was uh, covering where she was at the back court, Sam and Silver. then uh, Li Cheng Wei was in uh, full effect 18. all over the uh, last 90% of the court. <laughs> that would be some sight, actually. I'd love to have seen that. I've seen the exhibitions with Li Cheng Wei and Lin Dan playing together and Sam Silver. these kind of things. Nine. I don't think I've ever seen them play mixed. Uh. Yes, good from Ethel this time. Step over. Ten, nineteen. Taking the shuttle early with that first shot. Silver, 20, match point, 10. And it's something of a one-way traffic in this second game. Terry He and Jessica Tan with the block. Game. Great reaction. Made it look easy, in fact. But it wasn't easy, that shot. Nevertheless, they've come through in comfortable fashion in this second. And in less than half an hour of play. Match won by Hei Yong Kai Terry and Tang Wing Hang Jessica. 21-16, 21-10. Well, Jones Jansen's attack unable to get through the brick wall of Terry He and Jessica Tan. A confident display from them and a straight games win in half an hour. For Terry He and Jessica Tan, 21-16, 21-10, that scoreline. We've got an incredible looking women's doubles coming up for you in a few moments. Let's enjoy these highlights. Don't go away. A great aspect of the Kuala Lumpur skyline here in Malaysia. Day two of the Malaysia Open, the BWF Patronus Malaysia Open 2023. We are three matches down so far. A couple of big comebacks earlier to spice things up. A bit more one-sided in the last.